Hello. In this video, I am going to talk a little bit more about imine formation and hydrolysis. In a previous video, I shared uh, the result that when primary amines are reacted with aldehydes and ketones, you get an imine, as you might expect. But when a secondary amine is used instead, so instead of using ethylamine, we would use diethylamine. Instead of getting an imine, you end up getting this wacky thing. There we go. You end up getting an enamine, uh, in part because the nitrogen only has one hydrogen that can be removed. And so in this video, uh, I'm going to share the mechanism for that reaction and uh, for, for the hydrolysis reaction. Uh, so before I get into the mechanism of the forward reaction, I do want to share that like enamines, enamines can be hydrolyzed back to the aldehyde or ketone that they formed from, and the, the imine leaving group actually comes off protonated uh, and, and then picks up an extra proton uh, because it's the strongest base in the reaction. Uh, the forward reaction is very similar to, to that for the formation of an imine. Uh, I'm going to use, like, like I did in the imine reactions, I'm going to use the protonated amine as my proton source. Uh, get this water back up here. Uh, means the strongest base in the reaction, so they're also going to be the uh, proton transport species. Well, you protonate the ketone. Protonate the ketone, has an extra proton on it, uh, and now we have our amine. Our amine is a nucleophile, and it can attack the carbonyl carbon, breaks the carbon oxygen pi bond. Oh, I'm being I'm being lazy. Let me let me fill in all of these reaction arrows as equilibrium arrows because in fact that is the way that it is. Water and we have N with an ethyl and another ethyl and an extra proton and a positive charge. And we're going to use another molecule of mean uh, to take away this extra proton. I can get my curved arrow. There we go. Curved arrow. Bye bye, extra proton. Forward arrow. Equilibrium. Oh, there we go. Let me Emmy now. Something different happens after this step uh, because we have a different situation. The oxygen still gets protonated to make a good leaving group. But what happens after that? Uh, oh, and, and I'm sorry, and the, the protonated oxygen still leaves because it's a good leaving group to form a resonance stabilized cation, which I don't plan to draw because I need some room. But now, we don't have. Yeah. 
we don't have a hydrogen on this nitrogen to remove, but there is a hydrogen neighboring on, on the next carbon over. And so we can do what actually should look like a more familiar E1 elimination, where the base takes a hydrogen from a neighboring carbon to form the pi bond that we need. Here we go. I'm just gonna the structure of my enamine product here. Okay. So here's the forward mechanism for, for formation of an imine, or I'm sorry, an enamine. Uh, as with imine hydrolysis, enamine hydrolysis uh, requires, you know, follows the same pathway, but backwards. Um, I am not going to necessarily draw out all of the steps, but you proton, you know, you go through these intermediates backwards, and instead of having diethylamine, you have water as the base in the nucleophile. So the hydrolysis works in, in reverse proton transfer, make this carbocation intermediate, nucleophilic attack to make this protonated oxygen, deprotonate this to make the hemiaminal and, and work your way backwards. I do want to share that there are some limitations of this reaction. If you have a situation where there are no hydrogens neighboring to the carbonyl group, as in, say, benzaldehyde, and there are other cases out there, but benzaldehyde is, is the first one that came to my mind. And you tried to react this, uh, to react with, react benzaldehyde with uh, any, any secondary mean, doesn't have to be uh, this cyclic secondary mean. You're going to get no reaction out of this combination. There are no hydrogen atoms to remove in the E1 step. And there are other aldehydes that you can find, ketones out there that you can probably uh, surmise will have the same behavior. This has been my video on enamine formation and hydrolysis. Uh, thank you for watching.